Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one and only Ricochet, and you are watching Inside the Ropes YouTube channel. And remember, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, watch all their videos, especially this one because it's one and only. Thank you, guys. Hey everybody, we're back here inside the ropes. It is SummerSlam weekend and we are joined yeah. by one of the stars of NXT. Takeover weekend. Takeover weekend. No, well, SummerSlam Summer weekend, yeah. No, I'm going to ask you about that. Let's talk about that because there are a lot of wrestling fans um, on social media and stuff who feel that NXT is the place to be and that's the show to watch. How do you guys feel about that? I honestly, and again, I, I love everything under the WWE umbrella, Raw, SmackDown, all of it. But uh, just for me personally, I, and not just because I'm here or whatever, even before I got here, I still always kind of thought that NXT was the place to be. I thought NXT was like the, the forefront of sports entertainment, you know what I mean? Like, just like what they're doing, the stories, the, uh, just everything, like I can see. And now being here, I see how hard like everyone top to bottom is working and everyone top to bottom is so good. Like, whether it's, someone who's been here for a couple months or Tommaso Ciampa like you know what I mean like uh, so for me like, NXT is it's the it's the place to be so when you guys are doing a big weekend like SummerSlam or Wrestlemania and obviously the, the main show has got you know these kind of like worldwide yeah. you know Brock Lesnar Ronda gonna, Rousey yeah. but do you guys have this kind of like we want to steal the show this weekend um, I think everyone like whether it's Brock Lesnar or whether it's us you know I think everyone goes in wanting to steal the show I, I I, at least I, I hope so. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody wants to be the best, you know what I mean? So, but definitely, like, we do, like, not as much as we want to, like, show them whatever, but we want to put NXT on the map as much as possible. We want to make NXT as global, and we want to make it, like, as big as possible. So, of course, we're going to go out there, and we're going to do our best to, like, put on the best show possible. And, uh... Of course, we all we try to show out every take, take over. You know, try to show them what we're made of. But um, of course, like, but I think it's for the the betterment of NXT, just to make it bigger, to make it you know more known. But for sure, we do try to go out there and we try to st steal the weekend, but not because we're like trying to like oh, we're the better ones, <laughs> but because we want NXT to be as big as possible. So if if somebody was watching this video and they're a, a WWE fan, but they just watch main roster and they've never watched NXT, can you describe the Velveteen Dream? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, oh man, I mentioned. Um, I'm trying to think. Guy yeah, a little bit of he's a little bit of Prince. Uh, and what was uh, Wesley Snipes' character? Was it um, from was it um, Judge Dredd? Wasn't it was Wesley Snipes? He was like a little bit like eccentric, but he's still like like a bad dude. Oh man, I think it was Judge Dredd, or was it? I forgot what movie it was with Sylvester Stallone, but uh, a bit of Wesley Snipes, but a bit of Prince. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you can describe it, dude. That's hard. That's hard. What would you do? That's a hard one. I don't know what I would. Well, it's funny, like I feel like whenever you show somebody just like a bit of them, they go, "What?" Yeah. But like in a good way. But he's he's in, so intriguing. You're like, I just got to see more. You know? And you got to work with him because when you came in, you know, I think it's fair yeah. to say that a lot of wrestling fans maybe saw Ricochet as the worker guy. Oh, they weren't yeah. like, Ricochet's the, the charisma guy, it's the no, worker guy yeah. more. And you go in there with Velveteen Dreams straight off the bat. How much did that help you being yeah, in that? It helped me out so much. And so like, I, I, I like to thank all the, the, the writers and everyone who put me in that position, but also like to thank Dream who, who helped me as in, when I was out there, like it felt, I didn't feel, I don't know, nervous, I didn't feel anxious, like he made me feel relaxed and so like working with him, like working off the film back and forth, uh, I got to show a little bit of the, the personality side, so uh, dude, that was one of the, the best things that had happened to me because I could show, not only was I a good worker, but I could go in there and show some personality and you know, talk a little bit, so that, yeah, it's great. Uh, what have you learned so far from Triple H? Like, what are the biggest things you've learned? Cause, I mean, it must be weird for you because you watched him yeah. as a kid and now he's like the mentor guy in NXT. What have you learned from him so far? Um, him and him and Michaels both. And it's not been so much about the, the wrestling aspect as much as it is about the whole persona of what it takes to be like a superstar. The, the, so that's what they, they've taught me the most as like everything it takes as far as especially nowadays even they, they'll tell you like back in their day they didn't have like social media so like they kind of like help me out as far as what it takes to you know you know 
you want to like converse with the fans a little bit, but you still want to kind of present yourself as a superstar, and you still kind of want to be a little bit like mysterious, and then also just um, the, the the state of mind is like. Of course, you want to be like the best, again, you want to be the best worker, but there's so many little things it takes to be, you know, a superstar. And so, like, they're, they've been helping me out with those aspects more than anything, and which is the stuff that I haven't really ever thought about because you know, I've just always been the, the wrestler guy. So they've helped me out in those aspects a lot. Has there been any surreal moment for you? Like, what's been the most surreal moment so far in your WWE career? Every day I walk in... Shawn Michaels class because he's just sitting there talking to me like he's not Shawn Michaels or something. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and then also like um, uh, um, Scott Hall came in the other day, so him and Shawn were talking and they were in class and it's just like these guys are. What are you talking? What are you guys talking about? Because I don't understand a word because I'm looking at you right now. But uh, there's, there's so many and then like or you, and Triple H is just in there working out or something because this is against guys that I've watched growing up so again like it's still all cool to me every time I see him but uh yeah basically just anytime Shawn Michaels says something nice to me <laughs> <laughs> uh, last question Adam Cole the match for the, the North American yes. title because uh, when you guys had the match at uh, TakeOver WrestleMania weekend you know it was just like everybody loved it five star match all this kind of stuff yeah. um, what is the plan going into this weekend because it's a stacked card you've got Mustache Man and Unsputed Era Ciampa Gargano again yeah. what's the plan Again, the plan is just to, to, to go out there and just he and I both want to give the best performance possible. And we try not to put any pressure on ourselves, but we do both want to go out there and not necessarily steal the show, because everyone wants to steal the show. But we do want to go out there and just, especially because it's the first ever North American Championship match on a takeover. Um, so, yeah, we just, we're, we're both going to go out there, do what we can do to put on the best match possible that we are able to put on. And, of course, we want everyone saying our names at the end of the takeover. You know, of course, it's going to be hard with the tag match. It's going to be hard with Shane and Kyrie. It's going to be hard with Dream EC3. It's going to be hard with Johnny and Tommaso. But we feel, like, we feel pretty comfortable that after, after takeover, all the, all the matches are going to be pretty dope. That we're, they're going to be talking about us. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Appreciate Thank you very much. Thank you so much.